Hello, in this video, I'm going to share with you the amazing summer abroad opportunity in Canterbury, England. My name is Noelle Taylor, and I'm a third year student at the University of Toronto at the St. George campus with a major in industrial relations and human resources and a double minor in sociology and education. This past summer, I took part in the Canterbury, England summer abroad program studying IRE 322 topics in industrial relations and human resources. This course specifically dove into the historical British industrial and cultural influences on the contemporary workplace. All students participating in this program stay in Parkwood residences on the University of Kent campus. The campus is perched on a hill that looks down onto the Canterbury City Centre, which makes for a picturesque view of the city. Parkwood residences are comprised of houses that each accommodate five to six students and are located a 10 minute walk away from the central point of campus, which is also where classes are held. Unlike U of T, where a walk to class entails streets lined with buildings, a walk from Parkwood residences to central campus takes students along a scenic route through trees and a gorgeous paved path. All students receive a Kent One card that is preloaded with money to purchase food on campus, and there are many catering outlets available, but students also have the option to walk or bus into town to purchase meals and food with their own money. Classes are held Monday to Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., which provides students with both the afternoons and weekends to explore Canterbury and the surrounding towns. Lectures are held in a modern classroom where Professor Bob Thompson leads students through lecture material and engages them through class discussions. I truly enjoyed my time in this classroom as the lectures provided meaningful information on the factors that shaped the contemporary workforce and my classmates' contributions to the group discussion were insightful and meaningful. In addition to the lectures, students learn by participating in various field trips. This takes learning out of the classroom, which makes it more meaningful. Some of my field trips included a two-day trip to Bath and Tollpuddle, where my class visited Stonehenge and got to roam around the city of Bath and view the Roman baths. We spent a day in London touring the city and visiting landmarks such as Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, Covent Gardens, and much more. A day trip to Dover included a tour of the Dover Castle, White Cliffs of Dover, and Crabble Corn Mill. And our final field trip took the class to Cambridge, where we went on a river punting tour and attended a lecture at the University of Cambridge. For me, these trips were the highlight of the course. My favorite memories from the trip are all the adventures my classmates and I went on. Visiting London has always been a dream of mine, and to see landmarks such as Big Ben and Buckingham Palace in person was breathtaking. Furthermore, I was astonished by all the intricate architecture of Cambridge, and one of my favorite afternoons was exploring the city with friends. In addition to all these fun, big field trips, I also found that my classmates and I were able to create our own fun with impromptu trips and small activities. For example, one weekend, a few of my classmates and I traveled to Whitstable, an adjacent town to Canterbury. The fast and reliable bus service that even picks students up right on campus makes for easy transportation to nearby areas. Furthermore, my classmates and I frequently met up in town for outings, such as a dinner to try a traditional English Sunday roast and walks around Canterbury City Centre together. I encourage you to explore this summer abroad program if you are keen on learning about industrial relations and human resources, or if you're eager to explore England. Professor Bob Thompson's experiences in labor relations and law are invaluable in teaching students critical lessons about the workplace and employment relations. As a student majoring in IRHR, I found both Professor Thompson's lectures and the readings helped deepen my understanding of the contemporary workforce. However, if you have no prior experience in this field, that is no problem either. Many of my classmates came from other programs such as life science, but still enjoyed the course just as much as I did. Furthermore, this is an amazing opportunity to travel and explore England. The field trips are strategically planned so that students can view as much of England as possible while they're there. If Canterbury is a city in which you can see yourself excelling, then I urge you to explore it further on our website at summerabroad.utoronto.ca slash program slash England dash Canterbury. Here you can have a look at the program overview, explore the links to the University of Kent, and examine costs. Summer Abroad has also created a Discord group chat in which students can join the channel of the Summer Abroad programs they are most interested and attend weekly drop-in sessions to ask any questions. There will be an information session held in early January specifically for Canterbury, so I encourage you to keep an eye out on our website for the date when it's posted. The deadline to apply for Canterbury will be February 1st. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our office at summer.abroad at utreano.ca.